Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics, Top Pop Math Chops, hashtag Math Chops. Um, today we're going over a proof involving our favorite number E. Uh, and this is the proof that, or this is a statement that we're going to prove, uh, that the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus x over n to the n equals e to the x. And if you stick around, we'll do another proof for a particular case where x is equal to 1 there. And uh, this particular case is actually interesting because that's where it, this is where e shows up in the real world for compound interest, uh, where n is the number of times in a given, uh, I think, in a year that you take interest on a, on a amount of money. And when n goes to infinity, you get that uh, number e. So um, before we set up this proof, we need some background on how we're going to approach proving it. And for this, for both of these actually, um, especially for the top one, there's a bunch of different methods of proving uh, the statement, de depending on how we define e, or e to the x, or the exponential function. Um, the way we're going to define e to the x and how we're going to use it is it's going to be the inverse of the natural logarithm. So, uh, so this, and that's going to come in handy when we actually tackle uh, what's, what's here on the left side and we'll get to x. So this is just a uh, deductive uh, head, head into the wind kind of proof. So using our definition of the exponential function, uh, we can rewrite it as uh, e raised to the natural log of our, of our big uh, equation here. And properties of logarithms tell, uh, tells us we can bring this n down and, and have n times the natural log of that. And of course, we're taking the limit as n approaches infinity of, of, this whole th of this whole thing. But um, since e is not dependent on n, we can rewrite it. So here we still have uh, the same, or we have what we actually want to find. I've just rewritten this as a uh, fraction so that we can use L'Hopital's rule, uh, which tells us that the limit as n approaches infinity of f of x over g of x is going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity of f prime of x over g prime of x. Well, we're, we're using n's here, and x is just a placeholder that we can plug in as we choose. So we're going to take the derivative of the numerator and denominator. And in our uh, numerator, we have a cha uh, chain rule going on, where we have a ln of x, and x itself is a function. So first we take the derivative of natural log, uh, which is just 1 over x, except x, of course, is our inner function there. And then we take the derivative of the inner function, which 1 is going to become 0, and x over n is going to be negative x over n squared by the uh, power rule. And similarly on the bottom with the power rule. And these two negative n squares cancel out. So we have and of course as n approaches infinity x over n for finite x is going to equal uh, is going to tend to zero. So this this becomes uh, x over 1, which is just x. So we have this equals e to the x. So this is the, this is the rigorous uh, textbook example proof. I'm going to go over the particular case of this proof when x equals 1 with a more uh, uh, digestible uh, proof. It's not as rigorous as, as you might like a proof to be, 
but I, I like it, so I'll present it to you. And this proof also uses a, another definition of e to the x, which is the derivative of e to the x. It's, a, it's the function of which the derivative is equal to the, the function. So, uh, so we also know that, uh, and we're going to use uh, the classical definition of derivative. So, So we're just taking a uh, limit as h approaches 0 of basically the rise over run over an infinitesimal portion. And we want to look at f of f prime at 0. And of course, since e to the x e is equal to the derivative of e to the x, um, we have um, We have e to the 0 because we're taking x at 0, which is just 1. I already substituted the 1 in there. And um, here's where the proof becomes a little more casual. Uh, we just want to substitute h for some small number. So uh, we want to say when h is small, We want to say when h is small, uh, 1 is equal to e to the h minus 1 over h. Um, and then we can manipulate this as such. And of course, we have h plus 1 uh, raised to the power of 1 over h is equal to e. Uh, this is just using our definition of e here and a classical definition of our derivative. And um, now if we could just somehow uh, replace this h with 1 over n, where instead of h small, we have n big. So uh, I think it's a pretty convincing pseudo proof uh, in my book. But uh, let us know what you think. Uh, about this episode or about hashtag math chops. Uh, thank you for watching. If you think we're missing any uh, popular math proofs, please tweet us at center of math, hashtag math chops, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, stick around for a playlist or to subscribe, and have a good day.